Welcome back to Kang TV News. I'm Julia. And I'm Sarvia. The winter sports season is officially underway. Take a look at the action so far, as well as upcoming games. The award-winning Kang's dance team will host a competition this Saturday here at Eldo. They'll compete against teams from Eastlake, Edmonds Woodway, Glacier Peak, Linwood, Meadowdale, Mercer Island, Mount Sai, Redmond, and Shorewood High Schools. Doors open at 12.15 and competition gets underway at 1. There will also be a special performance by the Junior Kangs. The athletics department wants to know what sports you want to see sponsored here at L-Dub. They have a survey they'd like you to fill out, and they do listen to what you have to say. In fact, badminton and slow pitch softball were two sports that were added as a result of a previous student survey. You can access the survey by using this QR code. Mark your calendars for visits from the following colleges this week. Cornish College of Arts visits the College and Career Center after school today. On Friday, Whitworth University will be on campus during Route A, while UW Bothell visits during Route B. Follow the LDF College and Career Center Instagram page to keep up with college visits and other events. The American Red Cross recently paid tribute to an LDF senior whose actions saved the life of a little girl. The pool at Stratton Woods Swim Club is covered, not used so much during cold winter months. But it's here that two families recently gathered to honor an LDF student whose quick thinking actions prevented a horrible tragedy. Senior Dominic Lucarelli works as a lifeguard and swim instructor during the summer. On a busy August day, he was in the water holding a toddler in his Learn to Swim class when he noticed something very wrong nearby. And it happened right over in the shallow and right over there. I saw Sophie and she was unconscious underwater. He jumped into action, handing off the child he was holding so he could help Sophie. So I did what I did as a lifeguard, as a swim instructor. I rushed over, I grabbed her. I did chest compressions, she was passed out, and after about 30 seconds or so, uh, she uh, came back awake. No one knows how Sophie ended up in the water and in such a dangerous situation, but Dom credits the American Red Cross for teaching him the skills he needed to help her. Well, it was a Red Cross lifeguard training that I did a couple years ago, back in 2019. Um, it's like a two-year thing that we do uh, for lifeguards, and I actually did it uh, this year, it's like a few months before the season started. So I already had it fresh in my mind, ready to go. Last week, local Red Cross leaders honored Dom at a special ceremony at Stratton Woods Swim Club. Thank you. In attendance, Dom's family, as well as Sophie's dad. Uh, it's Thank definitely you. a little <laughs> funny coming back here because we haven't been back here since uh, that day. Mr. Nam says Sophie has recovered fully from the near tragedy and has formed a special bond with Dom. It was nice to be able to honor Dom's actions here today. Um, we're very grateful for what he did that day. Um, and yeah, my, my daughter is, uh, has a bit of a bond with him. As for Dom, after graduation, he plans to return to Stratton Woods Swim Club for the summer, working as a lifeguard and swim instructor before heading off to college in the fall. For Kang TV News, I'm Noah Aguirre. Congratulations again to Dom. Here at LDUB, students learn CPR in health classes during freshman year. You can also take first aid or CPR classes from the American Red Cross and be certified. LDUB's green team wants to help you properly dispose of batteries and other office supplies. Don't throw them in the trash. Instead, take your used batteries and other supplies to Miss Wilson's room, room 261, and use the bins that are set up inside. Earlier this month, Green Team did another campus cleanup. They weighed everything they found in the parking lot in just an hour and it totaled 46.3 pounds. This is a reminder to please properly dispose of your trash, either using the trash cans in the parking lot or keeping it in your car. Littering can harm plants, animals, and humans. The Robotics Club is teaming up with Mod Pizza for a tasty fundraiser tomorrow. All day, Mod Pizza will donate 20% of all sales to the Robotics Club. Just take a photo of this poster and show it to the cashier when you check out. If you're ordering online, use the code you see here. Winter wishes are in full swing at Eldub. Scan the QR code or fill out the link in your email to put in a request for a wish that leadership can grant. 
Some examples request your favorite candy, ask for a toy car, and more. We will try our best to fulfill every wish. Leadership is also selling Wintergrams during lunch. Lift a friend's spirits by buying a cute stuffy and have it delivered to them. You can buy Wintergrams through December 9th. Speaking of winter, have you noticed the decorations throughout the school? Freshmen decorated the first floor, sophomores took over the second floor, while juniors decorated the third floor. Seniors transformed the North Wing into the North Pole. The winner of this competition will be announced soon. Here's a reminder that you can gather in the library during lunch this week to watch World Cup action. Today, Poland take on Argentina. Tomorrow, watch Costa Rica versus Germany. Friday, it's Cameroon versus Brazil. That's it for this week's newscast. Thanks for watching. I'm Sarvia. And I'm Julia. Have a great rest of your day and go Kangs! <laughs> I didn't say go king, but that's fine. That was angs. Angs. That's fine. Go angs. I usually yell it and then the mic just goes like. <laughs>